So after a hectic week of exploring the streets of Tokyo, we decided that a day trip to somewhere a little quieter was in order. And there was one truly iconic scene that I didn't want to miss before leaving Japan. Located to the southwest of Tokyo is a town called Kawaguchiko, famous for its views of Mount Fuji. And this is what it looks like. We had an early start as we wanted to get a 7.55 bus from the Shinjuku Expressway bus terminal. This turned out to be one of the best decisions of the entire day because getting there early is going to be key for you avoiding the crowds. The journey itself is quite amazing. As soon as you exit Tokyo, you get a stunning view of Mount Fuji straight ahead. Upon arrival, you'll immediately notice it's a lot colder here. We wasted no time and headed straight to the panoramic ropeway. It's relatively inexpensive, and if you get here early, there won't be any queue. I recommend going here as soon as you arrive. The journey itself isn't particularly breathtaking, especially as they'll cram as many of you in the car as humanly possible. But it's all worth it when you get to the top and you're greeted with this view. There's a nice little plaza at the top and you'll see people here posing for photographs and taking their time to drink in the scene below. There are some walking trails at the top, but when we went it was still a little bit snowy, very muddy and probably not that safe to be hiking around. So we just stuck to the main path. Finally, at the end of the path, you'll see this giant iron structure. It doesn't really serve any purpose other than giving you a great unobstructed view of Mount Fuji. Now that we'd had time to drink in the view, it's time to head back down. As you can see, by the time we got back, it was absolutely rammed and people were queuing around the corner. So getting the early bus is definitely the best thing you can do. After we got back down, we took some time to walk around the lake, grabbing some more views of the scenery. Right here is a prime photo spot and you'll see that there are photographers who tape their tripods to the fence early in the morning to secure their spot for sunset. We managed to do an entire loop of the lake before heading to this Lawson with the best view in Japan to get some snacks. For the afternoon, we hopped on a local train service and headed off to a slightly different location. This is one of the classic photo spots for Mount Fuji. We wanted to see the Chirato Pagoda. The weather here is super unpredictable and unfortunately Mount Fuji was shrouded in cloud, but we began the ascent towards the pagoda anyway. <laughs> Finally, after 20 minutes or so of walking, the pagoda came into view. When we arrived, it was super crowded, people queuing up to take some pictures, but we waited it out. Most people snapped a picture and left, but we sat there for several hours and slowly the clouds start to shift away. Then, by the time sunset came, 
it was absolutely beautiful, with only a few of us left there to appreciate it. So here are the photos that we got. And that's it for today's video. That's our guide to visiting Kawaguchiko. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.